On the 12th of May, video of what appears to be a test launch of Brimstone missiles in Ukraine surfaced online. A containerized launch platform can be seen launching a salvo of three missiles. The footage shows a large group of spectators watching as the salvo is launched from what appears to be a repurposed commercial vehicle. In April, the UK's Ministry of Defence confirmed the supply of Brimstone missiles to the Ukrainian armed forces. It was announced that these would be adapted for surface launch against ground targets. Brimstone is an advanced, rocket-powered, radar-guided weapon which can seek and destroy armoured targets at long ranges with high precision. Developed in the late 90s, it entered service with the Royal Air Force in 2005, seeing action in Iraq, Libya and Syria. Manufactured by MBDA, Brimstone uses a radar seeker and a sophisticated guidance system which can differentiate and prioritise targets. The missile delivers a tandem-shaped charge to destroy armoured targets at ranges varying from 12 to approximately 20 kilometres, depending on the launch platform, conditions and the variant of the missile. Brimstone is capable of firing in a salvo, where the missiles will fly in parallel before striking their targets in unison. This fits with what we see in the video. The repurposed commercial vehicle, similar to the box vans used by supermarkets to deliver food, appears to have a series of rails mounted inside the cargo area, which in turn might be mounted with something similar to the Cobham triple launch rail, but it's very difficult to tell from the footage. Before the Russian invasion in February, the UK government had been in discussions with Ukraine to provide the maritime variant of the missile, Brimstone Sea Spear. On the 25th of April, UK Defence Secretary Ben Wallace told the UK's Parliament that if we do provide brimstone, we will look to provide it for the land, using stock that we already hold, but not as yet for the sea. A day later, on the 26th, the UK's Armed Forces Minister, James Heapy, told Parliament that such is the speed with which our technicians are now working, and so effective is the partnership with industry, that I'm pleased to say it's necessary to inform the House that we will be providing brimstone in the next few weeks. And this seems to have been the case because on the 6th of May the first evidence of Brimstone's presence in Ukraine was provided by a series of photographs of the remnants of a Brimstone 1 missile. The recovered tail section of the missile bears a sticker denoting the surviving component was manufactured in September 2001. Subsequent photographs of fragments from another missile show that the second Brimstone 1 was manufactured in around May 2001. On the 8th of May, photographs of a further Brimstone this time one that was fully intact, was shared online. The markings showed that the components were produced in September 2001 and February and June 2004. Further footage from Ukrainian brimstone launches emerged on the 15th of May, showing some close-ups from inside the launch vehicle. A Cobham triple rail can be seen mounted and several launches were shown as part of a compilation video shared by Ukrainian forces. In this video we can see two missiles being launched rather than a salvo of three, although in one clip from the footage we can see three missiles mounted on the rail. The footage also shows us that the system appears to be mounted on a palletized framework, which could seemingly be easily mounted on more capable vehicles than the commercial van seen in the footage. Brimstone offers greater range than the infantry operated anti-tank guided missiles like the Javelin or the Ukrainian Stunga P. This extended range, coupled with its ability to be fired in salvos, offers a valuable capability to Ukrainian forces. How suitable a converted commercial van is as a launch platform is debatable. Although in theory it may allow for decent concealment, its off-road capabilities will be limited. MBDA have been working on ground launch systems for Brimstone for some time, and since 2019 they've been proposing manned and unmanned launch platforms with containerized launch systems but none of these have been procured by any nation yet. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Sharing the videos with friends really helps the channel to grow. Thanks again for watching. Catch you in the next one.